Hey, Ryan Willington here at Sourwood Farm. I was just uh, walking around, noticed a big old clump of bees hanging on a cherry tree right, right over there, and thought, oh my gosh, we got a swarm. I mismanaged a colony. And as I walk over with, with the equipment, they take off, and here they are coming back in to this mating nuke. So I think I had a, a mating swarm, and the, the queen took a break, and a lot of the bees went along with her. Or maybe she picked up others in the route. But here they are coming back in. I haven't seen her walk in. I probably missed her, but totally fun watching the fanning. When the when the swarm was uh, bivouacked, I was getting my stuff together. I typically take a frame, uh, this one's got nectar in it, but I take a frame like this and then put this uh, dead queen pheromone that has, yeah, so it's dead queens rubbing alcohol and lemongrass oil. And I'll put that on the comb and hold it up in the air like a, a flag and the bees will land on it. And here they are just smelling that. And it smells enough like the queen they were following that <laughs> they landed on here. So I guess I better go put this away so they can go back to their mating nuke. I got to thinking it could be that I made it up too strong and if I made them up too strong sometimes a nuke will make up their own emergency queen but also at the same time keep the queen that I gave them, the queen cell, and then they'll throw off a swarm with that queen that I gave them and then they've got their own virgin coming out soon thereafter so it's just it's probably not a smart idea and in some ways to open up this nuke right after a potential mating swarm but also could mean that if I find queen cells, I know what's going on and I might be able to tear those down and have the bees not throw out a swarm again. Cause it could be that they didn't practice swarm or something and virgin came back, but then that they will um, try again tomorrow or something. So let's just take a peek. Wow, they're strong. I does believe, I do believe I made this one up pretty strong. Or could it be that that swarm I saw actually came in and joined in this nuke? <laughs> so many bees. I made up the original nuke with, aha, look at that. Uh, there's a ball of bees down there. So the original nuke was made up with two frames, one frame of brood. I mean, one frame of stores, two frames of brood. I'm pretty sure we're seeing a little tussling going on down below. And there's a queen being bald. Get a little bit more in there. There's the queen cell I put in. Brood is mostly hatched out. Not seeing emergency cells. I'm really wishing I had my bee suit on so I'd have a queen cage handy. More, no, no emergency cells, so that's good. But clearly, there's some balling happening down here, so we're just going to carefully cooking a queen. away. There's the virgin. She appears to be healthy. All right, got her. Oh, she's got her with the other hand holding the camera. Ha ha. All right, so there she is. Um, so what I'm going to do now Oh, can I hold a camera, a virgin, and put it all back together? That's looking dubious. I'm going to go grab a queen cage to put her in, and then look through the colony and see if there's another virgin. Okay, so got this virgin in my hand here, and I'm really wanting to mark her, but she's crawling around in my fist, so a little bit leery on that. 
There's a couple things I can do. One is to walk her into the cage, open it up like that, open a hole in my fist, and see. There we go. And yeah, she looks good, healthy, doesn't appear to have gotten injured from what I can tell in the ball, which is kind of amazing. I'd love to put a mark on her so that if she, if I do put her back in the colony and I come back later and, you know, find a mated queen, it'd be nice to know if it's her or if there was indeed another one. Let's go ahead and just take a peek in this colony. A little bit closer. Because it could be that it was a mating swarm or something that went back to the wrong colony. Just going to carefully look at the frames that I leaned out. Ah, a damage. See, they drew out some comb there freestyle on where I leave some openings, but not a good idea to lean that up like that. I don't see any queens there. Look down the colony. So many bees. It definitely seems stronger than I remember making up this nuke. Not seeing a virgin. Not on that frame. No sign of emergency queen cells. I don't... Yeah, you know, this is the resource frame I gave them, so not likely to see one on here. So there should not have been any brood. I made this nuke up on a really cold day. Grab this frame here. Not seeing any queens on there. There's the queen cup. Just leave that for now since I one hand's holding the camera and the other one's holding the brood. Okay. Oh, that really, that comb was so soft, I should not have laid that, I should not have done that vertical. To believe that this colony is strong enough. bit too strong of a nuke but they will once there's a queen laying they will draw a comb so fast and I think they're gonna be awesome all right so I think what I'm gonna do is play it a little bit safe with this queen and I'm gonna run up to my shed and mark her in there so if she does take off she can't fly away so we're just going to head up to that shed right over there, and we'll put it on pause. Okay. Let's see if I can get this queen out without her flying. We're in an enclosed space, so if she does fly, I can catch her. Oh, she wants to fly so fast. All right. Carefully holding her between my fingers. Try to turn her in a way that I can get to her thorax. was mated I might also clip her wing but she may need to take another flight or two so we're not going to do that there we go nice blue paint on her Get a little poof of some... all right now I'm gonna walk her back into this cage and we'll head back down to the bees. Thought was that if she took off, she might um, 
end up going the wrong place. So what I'm going to do, since they were being a little aggressive towards her, is go ahead and put her back in the colony. I didn't see any emergency qu queen cells. But I'm going to put her, you know, if I saw emergency queen cells, I'd think they'd have another queen virgin, something like that going on. They might really be aggressive. But I'm starting to wonder if maybe they picked up other bees when they to this strange swarm. It's the biggest swarm I've ever seen, mating swarm. It was about basketball size, and seeing all these bees, that's a lot. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I'm going to go ahead and put her in here caged. And doing it caged just so that she's protected as they accept her. Hopefully she doesn't need to take another mating flight really soon, but she's not cage I'm worried they might ball her again and kill her so yeah it's just this is so interesting and I love bees they're so unique and I get to play in them every day and find these you know just kind of questions like what's going on I, I love this the mystery and the, they're so wonderful ah so cool thanks for joining in Vertical brick tells me there's not a mated queen yet.